The multi-million dollar redevelopment and beautification project at Potter's Key is nearing completion. The project is expected to transform the key into an iconic locale. And today, the media was given a tour and updated on the project. Fern Carey has more. Assistant Port Controller Greg Curtis says phase one of the $2.3 million Porter's Key redevelopment project is expected to be completed in a matter of weeks. That includes a newly constructed boardwalk, aluminum awnings, landscaping, and a new parking lot. A parking lot which will accommodate some 145 uh, slips. That, and these slips are created to provide alternative parking whereby once the project is completed, persons will no longer be allowed to park on the causeway they would now have parking provided for them in the parking lot. So the causeway would now be pedestrian friendly. A transformer will also be installed at Portis Key to service mailboats and vendors as part of phase two, while new stalls will be built for fruit and vegetable vendors. This transformer is, is being um, installed for, is to create shore supply in the not too distant future for the mailboats and all of the crafts that have the capabilities of hooking up the shore supply. They would now be able to turn off the generators while in harbor, connect to the shore supply. In addition to this transformer providing electricity for the boats, it will also accommodate the stalls. During the media tour, Transport Minister the Honorable Glennis Hanamatten noted that security measures will also be implemented at Portis Key while sunken vessels, which create a navigational hazard, will be removed. Freight will no longer access the docking area and as a result of that, the, the um, mailboat operators will have to manage the receipt of freight and the transmission onto, the, onto vessels. We are putting in place security measures which, which control access to that dock and um, as a result, we are now reviewing the regulations that govern this facility. We are being advised from our ISPS coordinator who assists with all of our international ports and we are looking to mirror or to have a domestic sort of um, uh, um, uh, version of ISPS regulations which will, which will go govern activities on the docking facility and goods that come in and out. Now phase two is about 90% completed with all of the work expected to be done in about four weeks time, making Portiski one of the most iconic sports in Nassau. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News. Marine Resources Minister the Honorable V. Alfred Gray is reminding fishermen that the grouper season is closed between December 1st and 28th. He says he's received reports that some fishermen are still pulling in that catch and he says anyone found with fresh Nassau grouper is subject to prosecution. He notes that fishermen can catch other species of the fish like the strawberry grouper. Minister Gray is commending those who are in compliance with the three-month ban and he warns others not to break the law.